When is the best time to get out there and go door knocking for the best results? Well, my friends, we're going to stick to this door knocking theme, and this is going to be the second video in the series. Now, if you happen to miss the first one and you're still curious about how do we even get started with door knocking before I even hit my first door, check out my video that dials in the five ways to get prepared so you can dominate the real estate door knocking business when this pandemic returns us back to normalcy. Now, without further ado, we're going to jump into this video right now and find out exactly when is the right time to get out there and door knock so stay dialed in we're about to jump on in what's up what's up it's eric haas now with exp realty in sunny southern california hope you're doing fantastic welcome to my channel and if you happen to be new super stoked to have you with me today if you're a returning viewer as well Thank you so much for the continued support. I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and smash that subscription button. Also, hit that little bell because guess what? I am now dropping two videos a week. That's right, folks. Monday and Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Two videos popping out every single week to keep you dialed in on not only what this pandemic is doing to our lives, our housing markets, but tips, tricks, and strategies that you as a buyer, seller, investor, and real estate agent can be implementing to remain a success no matter what market we're facing. So when's the best time that I should be getting out there and door knocking to get the best results? You know, a lot of agents out there will swear by the times that they go out. Either it's morning, midday, afternoon, and there's a lot of agents out there who only go strictly on Saturday and Sunday because, well, they just feel like people are going to be home the most then. However, when you come down to it and you really look at, you know, whether or not a time really matters, look, mornings, most people are working or getting ready for work, and a lot of other people are trying to get their daily routines done, errands done, because as we all know, in LA, and I don't know where you're hailing from, but in LA, there's a ton of traffic, and it starts building up at around 2 or 3 p.m. So, you know, maybe mornings are not necessarily the ideal time. And you got to really figure out your neighborhood too and how it's being impacted by traffic because that has a lot of people out in the mornings trying to get their things done. So by the afternoon, they're home and they don't have to deal with any traffic. Now, on that note, midday might be great for you, might fit into your schedule. Afternoon might even be better because, you know, again, the thought of that people are home now after they've run their errands is definitely true, but that doesn't guarantee that you're going to get the same contacts one day as you did the next day. Now, imagine going on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday even. I mean, talk about bothering people. This is their free day, their relaxed day, but you're out there. And guess what? I agree. I've done it too. And why not? Because that is sometimes one of the most free times for people that they can actually wrap their heads around what's going on in the marketplace and have a nice discussion with you as well. Plus, sometimes you won't even see them during the week. So this gives you a whole nother opportunity to meet other people that you necessarily wouldn't have met during the week because they're not necessarily home then they're working and they're more prevalent and available during the weekends now with respects to evenings I'm not a big fan of evenings you know I don't really entertain anyone coming to my door if it's dark out or past six o'clock even obviously you know we've got to have some downtime people are having dinner so honestly I don't really feel that you know the evening is the best time but again do with what your heart feels you should do because you know there's a reason why you're feeling that way and if you feel like that's the best time for you or that's when your schedule permits then by all means don't let the time of the day that you're going out there and hitting the doors get in your way or be an excuse for not getting out of the car and doing it look at the end of the day I'm here to help you get out of that car and just hit that door and get it done. Obviously, I would love to hear more comments, questions, and thoughts that you have about door knocking. If I haven't covered them yet in this video with what's the best time to get out there and door knock, look, there is no best time. You just got to get out there and do it. So on that note, drop comments, thoughts, questions. I'm happy to help out anytime. Check out the previous video on the five ways to get prepared and dominate real estate. And I'll be with you next time in the next video. Have a great one.